This video is being made by request for Lee. Uh, Lee, you asked for a video talking about dental abscesses, uh, hopefully with some Lima themes running through it. Let's see what we can do for you. Let's go back to the basics. A dental abscess. There we go. Art attack. Um, this is my basic sketch of a tooth to talk through how we get dental abscesses and in fact what one is. This is a tooth. And as this shows, we got some crown here, but actually a lot more root than we do crown. This pink thing, this red thing running through the middle is the pulp cavity. This is the soft, delicate, fleshy bit of the tooth, the, the weak part of the tooth. It's protected by enamel and dentine, but when we get a fracture, we lose the enamel, we lose the dentine, and all of a sudden, the pulp cavity has communication with the bacteria ridden mouth and the bacteria can then pour down the canal all the way down here. This goes from pink to black and it stinks, but then it triggers an abscess actually within the jawbone itself. Now this abscess can look like a swelling or sometimes it will actually break through causing bleeding and blood and pus and all sorts of disgusting things. So that's a dental abscess, that's how we get them. It usually needs some sort of trauma to the crown exposing the pulp cavity. Next, we're gonna talk about where we're gonna see these things. And it depends what teeth we're talking about, and uh, what teeth we're talking about. And to help me, I got my little friend, the badger skull. I love this thing. I know it's a badger, but bear with me, because it is just gonna serve, um, serve a purpose to talk through where we might see these things. And some of the, the, the little minor things in anatomy, the differences, you just have to use your imagination. Well, let's consider the canine, this one here, because this is the one where we saw an abscess most recently. This is the dentistry we had to perform. You can actually see a slight outline of the root going all the way up there. Great big root on a canine tooth. So, when we get a dental infection, a, a dental abscess associated with the canine tooth, usually we get swellings right on top of the nose, on the bridge of the nose there. Now we're missing some incisors, but the little incisors at the front here, much shorter roots, and they just come up to about here or so. And when we get abscesses or infections associated with their roots, they're not going to break out on top of the nose, on the bridge of the nose, but actually within the nose, within the nasal cavity. So. These will present usually with an animal that is sneezing, blood, or having chronic discharge from the nose. Okay. Sometimes there actually won't be a broken tooth to see. The, the break will almost be below the gum line, and then it can be invisible what is actually happening in the mouth. You just need to take some x-rays of the nose often, and you see a skanky little root hanging around. On the lower side, well look, the same applies really except you're just going to see swellings uh, breaking out basically on the jawbone or just on the chin, okay? Finally, finally we have the cheek teeth, okay? Their roots come up here. Again, not so long as the canine, but consider this is where the eye socket is. This is where the eye is going to be situated. So the roots from here come up towards the eye, and so any swellings that we get, which are just on the cheekbone here, between the eye and the cheekbone. Anything there, swellings, chronic discharge, they're likely to be a dental abscess, abscess associated with some of the back molars or the premolars, some of the cheek teeth back here. In terms of how we treat these infections and how we manage these problems, you really are going to have to go in there and perform some dentistry because antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, they can work in the short term, but as soon as you finish the course of medication, because of the problematic teeth that's still in the mouth uh, or the tooth root which is still in the mouth, the problem is just going to come back. So it's a, it's a false economy just to try and hit these with antibiotics. You need to go to a vet and you need to go to a vet who's got dental x-ray equipment because otherwise you're sometimes just not going to know what's going on. Speak to your vets if they haven't got dental x-ray uh, facilities, get referred to one which does, like us.